trouble for former House of Representatives member Haman Hembe reached its climax when a Supreme Court sacked him on 23rd of June and directed that Dorothy Mato be immediately sworn in with all entitlements. But instead of obeying the court's order, Hembe, with the support of the House, embarked on a delaying tactics, citing documentation as the reason behind the delay in swearing in of the incoming lawmaker. During this, Hembe ran back to the Supreme Court, asking it to reverse its ruling. In his arguments, he alleged that the judgment was erroneously delivered. He received another shocker as the Supreme Court on the 20th September slammed him with a 1 million naira fine for daring to waste its time. After trying all avenues to delay the process of swearing in Dorothy Mato to no avail, the House of Representatives finally bowed to the dictate of the judiciary and swore in Representative Dorothy Mato Tuesday. Do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. Faithfully in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law, and the rules of the house and always in the interest of sovereignty, integrity, solidarity and well-being and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Some political watchers are however of the view that the delay in the swearing-in of Representative Dorothy Mato was not unconnected with the fact that Herman Hembe was one of the closest allies of the Speaker of the House, Yakubu Dugara. Charity Marcus Tonko, ITV News, Abuja.